welcome to the back of the Zoomobile, Pete. Horonsky, it's an absolute pleasure. I was getting no joy on the road. I was there for quite a long time, mate. Mate, well, I was, I was glad to pick you up, but the, the you. thing of picking you up is you've got to ask, answer my questions. Oh, it's not a problem. Okay, well, you're obviously a very well-known and very successful actor, comedian now, yeah. but you wouldn't, it wouldn't have always been an easy road. No, not necessarily. I was actually a teacher by trade, and I was, whilst I was at Teachers College, I started doing a bit of busking and... and um, uh, and a fair bit of pole dancing. I sort of opened it right up there. <laughs> so I was probably one of the pioneers, a pole pioneer, <laughs> if, you, if you will, for male, for males anyway. When I started, there was a whole lot of really strong people around at the time. Shane Bourne was around, and Glenn Robbins, and Wendy Harmer, and the, all the D-Gen people, you know, Magda, and mm -hmm. Gina Riley, and Jane, all the people who make up Kath and Kim, and made up all those shows, Fast Forward Comedy Company. We were all doing the live circuit together then. So it was a really... Uh, uh, a fertile time, if you like, for comedy. So I was very lucky that my timing was great. People might know you from um, Kath and Kim because it's recent, but you were in Let the Blood Run Free, yeah, which yeah. is one of my favourite. Oh, look, it's a great show. Let the Blood Run Free started in 1985 as a as a improvised uh, live thing to get uh, comics who were working around Melbourne at the time to work together. Little sweetie, you cute. Thanks very much. <laughs> and it just took off. It just became this really fantastic live show. We did it for probably a couple of years with different different sort of sequels if you like and then we got, did a radio pilot series then we got off of TV it was developed under the influence of, of alcohol and great excitement so, <laughs> it looked like it was actually filmed under the influence of alcohol as well yes yes at times it felt like it was now you're also very creative uh, in the Thank sense that you do um, produce a few things there's a film that you once took part in Crackers yeah Crackers is a great film there's some really funny moments in it like super funny and, and I think it was just um, a little bit uh, unfortunate that it came out of just after the castle. It came out about six months after the castle. Everyone went, oh, come on. It's some sort of copycat film. Yeah, They're yeah. very stylistically very different. Okay, mate, now it's time for the fast five questions. Fantastic. So, so get ready, okay. Um, first car. First car, Morris Minor, 1960 model. Not wasn't a split screen. <laughs> That's a cool car. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, worst car ever made? The Morris Minor 1960 <laughs> Not split screen. I had the crank started it many times. It was a crank. It was an actual crank. How long did you have it for? I had it for three years. Oh, okay. Uh, best car ever made, of your opinion? Best car ever made? Yeah. Oh, gee whiz. Um, that's very difficult. I'm going to go with the uh, Holden Monaro. Ooh. Back to the uh, back to the Bogan roots. Well, I don't know why I said like no, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, keep going. Cool, okay, you probably know. Uh, yeah. What do you drive now? What do I drive now? I drive a uh, people mover. <laughs> Groovy <laughs> ladies! Exactly, exactly. Get in the back with it. At least I know you're safe. Yeah. At least I know you're safe. Just Look. choose any of those baby seats, ladies. And the big one, the big one, yes. biggest fear. Biggest fear? Um, oh, Oh, people movers. No, yeah, yeah. Anyone seeing me driving my people mover? No, probably. Strangely, grown into this one, I now have a fear of heights. Not so much in a plane, but if I'm standing uh, on something high, like if sometimes I walk to a skyscraper window, I'm at a hotel, mm. I just go, oh, just for a second. Mm -hmm. But then I get my, get it together. But so I don't. Oh, that's that a fear? Well, mate, that's a pretty big fear. But I've got to wrap the show up. Mate, what are you doing? Go to Karatha. You said you're going to take. <laughs> Mate, celebrity hitchhiker, not celebrity taxi. That's a bit harsh.